Astrophysics. Hello and welcome to the Astrophysics Show. Yo, today we will be discussing a uh, very important topic. Will a uh, universe have uh, other planets and uh, will he be like a Earth? Will there be a life on the other planet like we are having on a Earth and using only a scientific formula to how we can discover these planets? Uh, so the idea of planets beyond Earth, is extrasolar planets, is a rather old one. In the 1500s, in the Catholic prior, Giordano Bruno first postulated that our universe had untold billions of stars, with billions of planets, billions of life sustaining worlds, with billions of events and civilizations, which would need to be saved by billions of Jesus Christ. Well, the Catholic Church didn't quite like that last one and executed him for heresy. But today, modern science is starting to vindicate Bruno, discovering planets by the hundreds or even thousands every single year. Although there are several different methods used to discover these planets, the simplest and most prolific one used by NASA's Kepler Space Telescope is known as the transit method. So the transit method is basically measures the periodic dips in light caused by the planet crossing in front of the star. The time between dips is the orbital period of the planet, while the fraction of starlight blocked during each dip represents the cross-section of the planet over the cross-section of the star. In this fashion, we can compute a number of properties of these exciting new worlds beyond the Earth. Um, so for starters, I'm going to talk about the orbitals of both the planet and um, the star that it revolves around. So. And the sun would have an orbital too, the same shape as the planet. And they will only be on the opposite ends of each other. So since the planet is over here, the sun will not be on the other side. Some of the planets that align our line of sight. We can actually just use, you know, we can use the light emitted. If we lie, let's say, in this in this path, if if we take Earth to be somewhere here, way off in the distance, we can say, okay, you know what? The planet is blocking some of the light coming out of the star. And if it's within, if it's within this, like say this has a radius R, if it's within this radius, then depending on where it is, it'll block a different amount of light. If it's straddling the edge, it'll only block some percentage of the light. If it's straddling over here, it will uh, block a certain maximal percentage of the light. So eventually you get a transit pattern that looks something like this. Bruno and other astrophysicists work on extrasolar planets are likely to have tangible applications in the future. The idealization of star planet systems suggests that there is a way to transform planet size, surface temperature, and other traits to determine if the planet is suitable for life or if it has already evolved life on it. Extrasolar travel may very well be a possibility in the next century, and future generations will be able to see our theories in practice. <laughs>